Good morning. It is March 27, 2017, Monday, and I have just bungee corded my water bottles to my front steps so that hopefully they won't blow away. As it is Monday morning, I now have to unplug my car and see how it starts. It's really important to remember to shut your hood before you get on the bypass and start driving at 70 miles an hour. Uh, one time I forgot and the safety latch let loose and the hood hit the windshield. That was no good. And it works. Great plan. Well executed. Thanks, past Paul. You didn't screw me this time. Workday over. My adventure begins with going to Walmart to see what they can do for that mess. And I'm also eating this peanut butter cookie. At Walmart, um, apart from it being very strange in there with them just kind of hanging out in the optical center talking to some guy it was very strange. He was giving them directions and I don't know why anyone needs to give directions in this world of GPS. It was painful because he didn't know street names and they didn't know what he was talking about. And I don't know why they were talking to him. I, I'm afraid it was, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it was about. Anyways, gave me a brand new pair of glasses free of charge. I mean, the lenses. She just popped them out and put them in another one. So then I went to Aldi's because Keely's not feeling well. So I got her some tea and honey, which is something that we've been self-medicating with at home, although that's a different tea. It does say throat relief, so that's probably a good thing. As I'm checking out, the cashier says, looks like somebody's got a sore throat. All you need is some Jack Daniels and you can have some hot toddies. Every day, strangers are becoming more and more like NPCs. And it is just blowing me away. Just the nonsense crap that falls out of their mouth. Like when I went to Martin's and the lady says, those are the best blueberry muffins I've ever had. Thank you. I, I don't know you. I don't value your opinion. And I wish you didn't talk to me. Thanks for shopping oldies where you might have saved some money, but we're not really sure. It's kind of complicated and things are just, just seem like they are, I don't know, bad. So down here, you got some guys working, well, some guys hanging out by the signs. Kind of gives you an idea of how big those signs are when you drive past them on the highway. Or those are very tiny little men. Could go either way. So, on my block, there's a house that was, um, that the people were evicted from uh, by the police because they were making meth. The blue house, um, they're tearing it down. They kind of had to. That's where they were making meth. Now I don't understand. I go to Disney, I don't leave any bottles out. I get three bottles. Today I leave two bottles out. I get two bottles. Why did, why did they drop off those bottles? And let them freeze. And they are knocking down the meth house in your neighborhood. Ooh. Oh, that's shaking. 